Good morning fellow YouTubers and people trying to improve their English language skills. It is 8.43 a.m. Sunday, July 1st, 2018 here in Virginia. Yeah, happy July. And today we're going to discuss some English homonyms. And a homonym is a word that, it's two words actually that have the same spelling but completely different meanings. And there's a lot of them in English and you need to learn a lot of them. And that's what makes English really interesting but at the same time, there's a lot of words, so it's it's a lot of work as well. It can be difficult at times, but uh, you know anything worth doing is is a challenge. But the word today is current, and that's spelled C-U-R-R-E-N-T. There's double R in the middle, and it can be an adjective or a noun. And as an adjective, you will hear current used as say the current trend. Uh, the, for example, the the current trend is for millennials to remove their rugs in their home and put in hardwood floors. And that is true. That's common right now. It's sort of like a fashion thing. Like trends here tend to go in and out every 20 years or so, like bell bottoms and clothes, things like that. They come and go. And uh, now as a noun, you might hear the term current as uh, a body of water. Okay. Uh, and so you might say, wow, look at the current in that stream is really strong. Don't try to cross it. Okay. Now there's another type of current as well, and that involves electricity. And um, you might say the current in that power line is really strong. You wouldn't want to touch that power line. Okay. So you can see there's right there, there's three different things. And there's a couple more things to keep in mind. Currently, adding an L-Y to the end would make it an adverb. Okay, and um, one other term where you hear current a lot in America and in English is current events. Uh, do you read the newspaper to keep up with all the current events? That's probably where you hear that word the most when I really think about it uh, from, you know, from a, on a day to day perspective. Okay, well, that's all for now. And I hope that helped you out. Uh, and uh, you can start uh, making up a list, writing down a list of different homonyms as you learn them. It's not a bad idea. Keep a notebook and then you can learn them because you're going to learn hundreds of them. Okay, that's all for now and thank you until the next video.